I am Goose. I am Logan. We're at Bangkok Street Food. Yeah. Well, we are out on a bright and sunny Friday afternoon. We're getting some, yep. getting some errands done with the DMV. Brother took us out to Southwest Bakersfield and we were like, let's go do a video yep. what's around the area. And I've heard a lot of good things about this place, Bangkok Street Food. So we decided to come check it out. Yeah, I'm excited. Had Thai food. For a while. I think we for have a while. It for a while. I don't even know if we've ever yeah, had it. Yeah, yeah, so, well, we're going to find out. So yeah. let's get, on and get, some, get our grub on. Looking at the menu here, we got some Thai cuisine, some, some appetizers, some cream cheese wontons, some egg rolls, some fried balls. That just, I don't know, it sounds interesting. I don't know if it's delicious or what. It's just <laughs> uh, chicken wings, fish cake, pork jerky, you got some soup over here, some tom yum soup, either chicken or shrimp. Vegetarian tom yum. Down here, I got the salads that are spicy. Some some tom ta. Uh, some chicken larb. Some squib larb. Some beef spicy beef salad. Nice lady that brought us our stuff here. And some water. Yeah, we're gonna you know, drink a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'll keep an eye on it. Thank you. Over here, we got the grill. We're over here, uh, the Mu Yang, the Thai barbecue chicken. We got some spice, non spicy salads, cucumber salads, a garden salad, a spring roll. And then they got the house specialties down here salt and pepper chicken, pork chop, fish fillets, and shrimp. And they got the Bangkok chicken, pork chop, shrimp and fish fillets. Over here, they got some other. Dishes, duck over rice, pineapple fried rice. Ooh, sounds good. Barbecue pork over rice. Got the pan noodles here. Drunken noodle. i yeah, try that sometime. <laughs> um, the pad thai, pad one sun, rice over here, spicy fried rice, garlic pork and char, chicken over rice, broccoli beef, spicy peanut chicken. Hmm. Interesting. Some curry dishes here, some yellow curry with rice, some Penang curry, green curry, vegetarian dishes here, eggplant, tofu, salt and pepper tofu, spicy pineapple and tofu. So a lot of tofu dishes here with the, with the vegetarians. Uh, some noodle, noodle soups over here, the Hanan chicken, seafood noodle soup, the Thai boat noodle soup, the duo. That's not, Barbecue pork and Chinese sausage over dry egg noodles. Bean sprouts and Chinese broccoli topped with fried garlic. Green onion, that just sounds good. Over here you get the different smoothies and teas. We just ordered some. So they have the traditional, Thai traditional herbal drinks, mm -hmm. ice milk, teas, slushies, smoothies, ice blended milk. I got something called Okinawa. I'm gonna be seeing that in just a little mm -hmm. bit. You got a... Um, I think it was also milk tea with yeah. boba yeah. and then pudding. Pudding, yep. Yeah. I don't know. I just kind of went with whatever she was saying because I was I was a little confused. But it all I sounded good. Options. <laughs> it all sounded good. Uh huh. You got some desserts here: the sticky rice with mango, the fried banana puff, uh, some other drinks here: beer, soda, hot tea. So we're looking forward to getting our food on. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> So we got our drinks, mm -hmm. and Logan, what did you get? I guess it was like a milk tea smoothie or something with pudding and boba. Mm -hmm. And interesting. It is so the, the fried balls. Here are the fried balls. Y'all enjoy the fried balls. I will indeed enjoy the fried balls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we got fried balls. Put some sauce here. Sour sauce got a nice tang to it. Uh huh. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty 
roll go Never, uh, never in my uh, wildest dreams would I sit there to say that I have five balls popping in my mouth. <laughs> but I do, which is really good. As Logan's, as Logan's mind is continually in the gutter right now. <laughs> Don't mind me. My inner 12 year old is showing up today. <laughs> Before I forget, before I forget, <laughs> the treat I have is called an Okinawa. It is uh, it's like a milk tea with boba. It it's really good. It's really know, good. It it yeah, it's really good. It yeah. It's a little complicated for us to make it. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. It's really good. <laughs> but it's got some boba. It's got some pudding. It's got some jellies in there. It, it's really good, very tasty. It's like you know, uh, it's like a really good strong iced coffee mm -hmm. with some boba in it. And let me tell you, something, when those bobas hit your mouth, man, they <laughs> it's almost kind of like wow. Uh huh. Because <laughs> we're not, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, we used to having the, like, the bobas where it's like they they pop in your mouth or whatever. Yeah. And these are more like I don't know, like chewy ones. Chewy ones, yeah. So I don't know if that was just another type of boba I had before or what. But it's pretty good. Mm hmm. Eating more of your fried balls? Yep. Yeah. Mm -mm. So we just got our food. What did you get, Logan? The Bangkok chicken. Got the Bangkok chicken. That's one of their yeah. specialties. Right? Yeah, on the menu it was listed under house specialty, so I figured it was a safe bet. So I decided to go with it. And it looks It looks amazing. Amazing. I got the um, I got the barbecue pork over rice. It looks really good. Let's see the night look. Got some cucumbers, some sausages, and egg. There's my pork over the rice, and I got a little soup here, so this ought to be cool. And I got some sauce over here. This ought to be good. I am very ready to dig in. I know I got you here with your mouth full. Mm -hmm. How is it? It's good. I mainly got part, uh, by one of the pineapple chunks, and then a bit of the rice, and it's it's really good. It's good. Can't wait to dive into the chicken. <laughs> some of the sweet and sour sauce on the rice. Logan's over here digging on his chicken. Mm -hmm. He's been getting a lot of the rice and the salad. Yeah, put some of the sweet and sour sauce on the rice. Which I figured it'd be really good because we had got the we got the sauce with the, the fried balls, mm -hmm. and it's really good. So mm -hmm. I decided to pour some on the rice. And the chicken here reminds me of orange chicken, huh. which is not a problem because orange chicken is always good. It's always good. Uh huh. I took my sauce, I had this sauce over here, I think it's teriyaki sauce. And I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be for the rice or the soup. So I put half on the rice and in the pork and half in the soup. The funny thing is, is it, with it being in the soup, it kind of tastes like the kind of broth you get when you when you have like the cup of noodles, the mm -hmm. ramen, yeah. It's still pretty tasty, it's really good. The pork is nice. It's, it's not, I mean, it's chewy, but not really super chewy. Mm -hmm. You really eat it, the rice is really good. All the little fixings I have with the egg and the sausage and the cucumbers, real tasty, so. This, this so far, is just a solid meal. So funny thing, apparently that sauce I had over here was barbecue sauce, and then I dumped it in my soup. <laughs> it's still pretty good, I mean, this, this rice is, and pork is amazing. I put the uh, the rest of my little things here, the egg and the cucumber and the sausage in the soup, just for, I don't know, for some reason I decided to just for do shiggles. it. For Yeah. You over here just getting into your food coma. Oh yeah. yeah. I'll show you, this chicken is fried to perfection. It's got like the perfect crunch. And then the sauce I got on the bottom got a nice tang to it, as well as all the different veggies I got with it, bell peppers, pineapple. And they had a little salad, it, had a, it was like, carrot shavings almost yeah and those were i mean of course they were good they were carrots they were carrots <laughs> but it was delicious it's good and the rice looks like it's just okay um, i poured <laughs> i poured the rest of the sweet and sour sauce in because i really liked it yeah and it works yeah okay so one of the things i neglected to realize is that there were pepper little pepper shavings right Oh, peanut peppers 
in that sauce that I just dumped into my soup that I just got a spoonful of three peppers. I'm gonna find out they're not like the little tangy peppers that like make your, everything, everything's like right nice and they're the hot ones that like basically get stuck on your tongue and then fire. <laughs> <laughs> So be, be aware of what Be aware of what you're putting in what your mouth. Yeah, what you're putting is uh, it's, it's, it's really good by the way. Oh yeah. Yeah. But now I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the heat off my tongue before I drink some of the boba, maybe that'll maybe work. That'll work yeah. well, the boba balls got stuck in my my straw. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Thank you. So you can see I finished my food. It was just absolutely delicious. My tongue is still on fire, but it was still absolutely delicious. Got a little bit of my soup left. I'm going to just finish that up. Meanwhile, Logan over here is just... Just about done. Just got a little bit of the chicken and vegetable mix left. But, ooh, actually, it's a very good portion. For, yeah. There's only 15 bucks for the yeah. whole thing. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. That was good food. That was, that was good food. We definitely eat. worth the hype because I've I had mean, friends talk about it. Bank yeah. Park Street food. Heard about it on the local restaurant page. And, and, and that's oh, and that's the thing. That's up. the thing. If your friends are recommending a, a restaurant, you should go check it out. Mm -hmm. Find out what it is. You know, it's the same with the other way around. They're like talking yeah. like. Uh, like you're, a lot of people go to restaurants because we've eaten there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's a lot of fun. This food was really good. Oh yeah. The boba's really good. I'm not really into boba. I don't know. It's just, I, it's just something, something we decided to try. To try. And then all the different, uh, I guess, little customizations. Yeah. But it was, it was just all delicious. Oh, yeah. And uh, cannot wait to come back again mm -hmm. for for more of this food. It was just delicious. If you want to find Bangkok Street Food, it's on White Lane, mm -hmm. right near Ash Road. It's in this little strip mall here, right next to Food Max. Mm -hmm. uh, is, the food is here is delicious. You gotta try it out. If you can't get out here, door dash it. I know, because mm -hmm. I've, I've I've picked up and delivered from here, but it's, it, this food is amazing. Yeah, you got yeah. Uh, so. Logan, if they want to check us out anywhere else, where would they go? If you want to find all the links to our social medias, you can find them at withkoji.com slash at Travel by Nature. They can find links to our podcast, our Twitter pages, our TikTok, our Instagram, and we also have an Ask Me Anything tab and a tip jar, if you're so generous. Yep. And if they want to help out the channel, what do they do? You can hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share to your friends. Yeah, share to your friends. Leave us a comment. It makes us smile. What else can they do? If you really like our videos, you can join our channel. Where you do that is on the homepage of our channel, right next to the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. We have three tiers, one $4.99, one $7.99, and one $9.99. So if you love our content, you can help us out there. And everything you donate to the channel goes right back into the channel. Yep. But with that being said, from here at Bangkok Street Food here on White Lane, I'm Goose. I'm Logan. This is Travel by Nature. Thank you for watching.